when everything goes sideways. So this week, I can tell you that everything did go sideways for me. So Monday morning rolled around. I was away for a long weekend with my son and his team. And I came back. I have a busy week. I have lots of things going on. I have lots of stuff uh, up in my world. I have lots of commitments. I have a program rollout. I have clients I have responsibilities for. And Monday morning, I opened up my computer when I came into the office. And guess what? It wouldn't turn on at all. My computer has everything on it, every single thing. Without it, so much of my everyday doesn't work. It absolutely blew up my day. It was an invitation to the massive breakdown that you know could be like, I'm not keeping up with clients, I'm not taking care of business, I'm not doing the thing I need to do. And you know what I did? I ended up finding out that I have this tendency that I want to have to fix this by myself. So like, how am I gonna troubleshoot this computer? How am I gonna figure out what's going on? Well, you know what I found out in short order was, A, I don't know as much as I think I know about my type of computer. B, everything I did know and everything I tried and Google didn't make a difference. And then I looked around me and I was like, hey, wait a minute, if I don't have to do this all by myself, how could I get help? So I called a buddy of mine who specializes in computer repair. Not only did he say he was gonna help me, but he said, I'm on my way over right now. He actually came to my house and like, within an hour of me calling him and is yanking apart my computer. Unfortunately, he didn't have great news. The news was that my computer had bricked. It had literally become a paperweight overnight. We didn't know why, and none of the diagnostic tools was telling us anything. It just bricked. Once again, new opening for a breakdown, like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Now I've gotta buy a new computer and it's gotta be complicated and it's gonna be super expensive and it's gonna take a lot of time and I don't really have time, what am I gonna do? And, you know, like maybe I'll buy a used one off Craigslist or maybe I'll go to a store and pay a top premium, but then I have to go someplace to go do that. And I looked around and I was like, okay, well, ask myself this question. If it didn't have to be difficult, how could it be easy, right? Tim Ferriss often talks us. If it didn't have to be difficult, how could it be easy? I said, well, if it was going to be really easy, I wouldn't have to go anywhere. If it was going to be really easy, I just get myself a new computer and get it here. And what I realized was I could order a new computer, I could have it shipped to me the next day, and I could be up and working on the computer the next day. So Monday afternoon at three o'clock, I placed an order, I paid an upgraded shipping fee that turned out to be $8, and got my brand new MacBook Air the next morning at 10.38 in the morning it was delivered, and by noon I was up and running again. Now there's still setups and adjustments and this, that, and the other thing. But my question is like what really, not my question, but what it really pointed to was how easy it is to really chase down like how hard and complicated and rough and oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? And I can't believe it, oh no, what did I do? And how are we gonna fix this? This is like, you know, it becomes the drama of the week. But when I asked the question, how can I make this easy? All of a sudden, the answer came to me. And all of a sudden, it didn't have to be that big deal. And I could just move on with the work that needs to get done and the rest of my life. So that's my mentor's moment for the morning. That's my thought for you today is what is being too hard in your life? What's something that you could make easier by just asking yourself the question, how could this be easy? My name's Charlie King. I'm with Heroic Fatherhood. And this has been your mentor's moment.